An action potential begins when a stimulus is strong enough to depolarize the plasma membrane of a neuron from a resting membrane potential of about minus 70 millivolts to its threshold potential, which is usually about minus 55 millivolts. Once triggered, an action potential occurs in three distinct phases. The depolarizing phase, the repolarizing phase, and the after hyperpolarizing phase. At resting membrane potential, voltage gated sodium channels are in their resting state, and voltage gated potassium channels are closed. When a stimulus depolarizes the cell membrane to a threshold potential, usually about minus 55 millivolts, this triggers the activation gates of voltage-gated sodium channels to open quickly, causing an influx of positive sodium ions down their concentration gradient, which results in further depolarization. As more voltage-gated sodium channels open, positive ions build up on the inside of the plasma membrane, and the potential difference across the plasma membrane increases. Depolarization reaches a maximum of about plus 30 millivolts. The inactivation gates of voltage-gated sodium channels close one millisecond after they open, stopping the inward rush of positive sodium ions. At plus 30 millivolts, voltage-gated potassium channels open, leading to the repolarization phase. During the repolarization phase, an efflux of potassium ions and the suppression of sodium ion inflow causes the potential difference across the membrane to decrease. The plasma membrane repolarizes back to a resting membrane potential of about minus 70 millivolts. During the after hyperpolarizing phase, Prolonged outflow of potassium ions causes the potential difference across the membrane to decrease further to about minus 90 millivolts. The outflow of potassium ions is prolonged due to the slow closure of potassium gates. After the potassium gates close, the sodium potassium pump and leakage channels restore resting concentrations of sodium and potassium ions. The sodium potassium pump is driven by the hydrolysis of ATP to ADP. It actively transports three sodium ions to the extracellular side of the plasma membrane for every two potassium ions that it transports to the cytoplasmic side of the plasma membrane. These actions return the plasma membrane to a resting state of minus 70 millivolts.